Alright, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this 1-6 scale Luden. Now this is uh, Kojima Productions um, mascot. And here's the box. It's made by Thousand Toys. And there's the box, the front of the box, then the side. And then on the back, you see the Kojima Productions logo right there. And there 1000 toys so let's open it up all right so here's the figure outside of packaging and uh, let's go over the accessories first we have the pamphlet the instruction pamphlet then we have the flag right here then the spear for the flag then a couple of hands the uh, this pair is for gripping the flag and then a pair of fists then a pair of open hands and then an extra dome now this one is opaque but it is see-through and the translucent one is right there all right and here's Luden from the front Very Metal Gear Solid looking uh, armor here. And here's the side view. Here's the back view. The backpack is not detachable, so don't attempt to take it off. It's not meant to come apart. And then back here, here's the switch for the light up feature. Just need to turn it sideways and then uh, it'll light up uh, his uh, visor. And once you flip the switch, you see there are two lights, one on each side, blue LED lights. Oops, there you go. Really nice, really bright too. And batteries come uh, pre installed. So, yeah, so you gotta open up the backpack, uh, the top section of the backpack. So you just need to pop this piece off right here and then inside batteries are pre-installed again and then the switch is right there and then here there's a tool right in the middle here it's uh, for the eye movement for the eyes uh, so it's kind of like purse from uh, Hot Toys and to remove the helmet the uh, first you need to do is uh, make sure the head is tilt it as far forward as you can and then uh, this uh, center bar right here you just gotta lift this and once you lift that up you can remove the top dome and once you remove the top section uh, top section all I need to do is uh, pull the front section forward and there you have the head sculpt there you go. it's pretty nice it's got that uh, carbon fiber look on his helmet there. And then uh, the top section of his head is removable. This, uh, this little uh, hat that he has on, you can remove that in order to review those, uh, those eyes for you to. And here's a top view of the head. So once you remove that, uh, remove the top of uh, that uh, hat that he has on, now you can use this uh, piece and then uh, just push it in here into the rod and then uh, move the eyes around. Kind of neat. Oops, right there, yeah. And here's what he looks like without the top section. Just like that. And as far as range of motion, uh, head has very little movement. Uh, you could turn left and right a little bit, about that much. And the other side about that much. And the arms are really nice. Uh, the shoulder pads are on ball joints, so uh, they move along with it. And uh, if you lift the arms, you could hear their ratcheting joints. You could hear it right now. Uh, lift. Come on. So you can raise the arms about that height, and then you've got to push it back down. 
you could hear the ratcheting joints. And then here underneath, you can see the shoulder shoulder pad is actually on a ball joint right there, and then two other ball joints for these two other flaps. So you can maneuver those to cover up the uh, the arm, uh, the shoulder once you're done uh, posing it. Okay, so that the uh, the shoulder pad popped off, uh, so I just want to show you guys. There's the ball joint right there, and down here there's the socket, and there's the other ball and socket, and the other ball and socket. So three sections. Oops, right there. And here you can see shoulders, ratchet and joint, and then elbows can bend about 90 degrees quite nice for something this uh, bulky uh, but uh, let's see if you raise the arm this high uh, you can see the shoulder pad doesn't go with it so uh, you gotta maneuver it a little bit but uh, yeah this is too far up for the shoulder pad to cover so yeah and as for the chest there's a little bit of side to side movement but not a whole lot and then uh, the hips are on ratcheting joints which is nice I like those a lot as for the hips, uh, if you push it all the way, it could give you about 90 degrees, but uh, you end up uh, popping this tube right off of this uh, ball joint. But uh, you can always push that back in. And then the knees could bend about 90 degrees. And then ankle, it has a rotation and an ankle tilt. So quite nice as far as articulation. This figure is actually quite good. Now even though this figure is wearing a padded suit, uh, the thighs, actually they are really skinny, so this um, thigh guard uh, doesn't actually cover him all the way, or, or doesn't fill in all the way, uh, it's a lot wider than uh, what the body is underneath actually. So there's a lot of wiggle room uh, for, the, for this uh, thigh guard here. Alright, so here's Luden with the flag and the opaque visor and you can see I turned the lights on so you can't really see his face underneath still really awesome and uh, yeah and there's the flag you see the logos right there Kojima Productions back there so yeah this guy's gonna set you back about three hundred three hundred fifteen dollars uh, it is very steep, but I do like it a lot, even though it's not from a game or anything. It's just his uh, mascot, but uh, I still really like it, so yeah. Overall, I'm happy I have it, but uh, is it worth 300 bucks? Probably not, so yeah. So there you go, there's the 1000 Toys uh, Luden 1-6 scale from, yeah, from Kojima Production. Thanks for watching. Uh, forgot to show you the height. He stands about 12 and a half, almost 13 inches in height. If you're counting the flag, that's about 17 inches.